what a great day it is for me to uh, be the new head men's basketball coach. about just the SEC or, or the first round of the NCAA tournament or the Elite Eight. This is about aspiring higher. This is about getting to the big dance. And if I didn't think we could do it, I would have stayed in television. To every recruit in the state of Alabama, to every high level recruit in this state, you're our first target. We want to put a fence around the state of Alabama. Yes, we would love to go and recruit some of the high-level blue chip players outside of this state, but the state of Alabama and its high school players and AAU players, you are a priority. How is he going to recruit? What is, how is he going to recruit? He's never coached in college. Well, here's what I would say. When Coach Avery Johnson walks into a recruit's living room, they recognize Coach Avery Johnson on some level, whether it's the kid, the AAU coach, the high school coach, or the parent. Somebody recognizes Coach Avery and his New Orleans accent from TV. Somebody recognizes Coach Avery from being coach of the year on the highest level in the NBA. Somebody recognizes Coach Avery from coaching in the NBA Finals in 2006. Somebody recognizes Coach Avery from having a 16-year NBA career where he basically came in the back door because he was undrafted. Somebody recognizes Coach Avery because nobody's led the NCAA in assists one year with averaging 13.3 assists. So those are great qualifications. And if you want to make it to the next level as an NBA player, I'm your guy. If you want to graduate from college and be a four-year student, I'm your guy. And when Coach Battle called and introduced himself and asked me, you know, to entertain the idea of coaching the University of Alabama, I said, come on down, Coach. I would love to meet with you. Because when the University of Alabama called, you take the phone call. All right? Let me repeat that. When the University of Alabama calls, when Coach Bill Battle calls, you pick up the phone. The students, alumni, fans, buckle your seatbelt. Buckle your seatbelt. Buckle your seatbelt. Remember that. Buckle your seatbelt. We're going somewhere. We're going to recreate the atmosphere in Coleman Coliseum. The fans are going to be more involved than they've ever been in the last 10 years of the university or 15 years of the University of Alabama's program. But we need you. We're going to perform with passion perseverance, but we need your support. And I know a lot of you have been waiting for me to say this. I just want to say two words in closing. Roll Tide. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.